All right, I'm finally gonna do this, but this one's gonna be on uh, Easy Strokes. Uh, Easy Strokes is a uh, mouse gesture program. I highly recommend it because this is a game changer. Uh, just like Gnome Do was a you know a game changer to to launch your applications and all that. This thing is also one of those program. Um, so let me show you here uh, some basic stuff that you'll do on a daily basis. So first of all, let's say you want to open a folder without really navigating to there. You know you want to use that folder um, really quick. So let's say if I open my script folder, scripts, quick like that, and it opens it, no navigation at all. Ubuntu, they move the buttons on left and right and all that. I got sick of that, so you, you can use mouse gestures instead of using these buttons. Not really necessary anymore. So if I go maximize, unmaximize, minimize, Unminimize and how about closing it? Same deal, close really quick, right? Uh, how about if you're nav oh, or like uh, you want to go to a specific uh, site like YouTube? You go YouTube and it opens your browser. Um, and same thing, we go Twitter, right? And then most people they, they go up here and they close it. You go up here and then you middle click and you close it right um, that's too, too slow for me uh, also I use the slash so I go sh slash it doesn't have to be really big slash but you could do uh, as big or as little as you want and to bring it back let's say if I did it by accident I can bring it back like that right and sending with the Twitter one like I said it can be small or big if I do small same thing look at that right same deal just that the pattern has to be the same okay so that's some of the things that you can do on a normal uh, daily basis. But install the program and let's open the menu. Okay. So this is the menu and um, let me show you here. This is uh, the, the program working. It'll tell you uh, which one is the most accurate or whatever. And based on the accuracy, it'll uh, you know do whatever it is that you assign it to do or you bind it to do. Advanced here, um, I'll say uh, disable the on-screen display, uh, the devices, if you have a tablet, I don't have a tablet to show you, but everything else, leave it how you saw it here, okay? The preference here, you're not going to use this, uh, ex uh, what is that, uh, what is the exceptions, you're not going to use this that much, so I'll just skip this part. Don't show any pop-up or don't show any tray icon because uh, you don't want to see any of that, okay? Uh, as far as for this, don't use any compass crap. Uh, that that thing is stupid. The default way is when you see a um, you know the red line. Um, I would say the first few days I'll leave that on, but after that I would say leave done because that's invisible and it's much better that way. So you can still do your gestures, but you don't see the annoying lines anymore, right? That's much better. Okay, but for this screencast, I'm gonna turn it on so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, timeout uh, default is fine, and the, the gesture button. I'm gonna call this the trigger button. Okay, I would recommend using um, the trigger button is um, use your menu button. So if you're left-handed, that's your left button. If you're right-handed, that's your right button. So I'm right-handed, so this is button three. Okay, uh, you can add additional trigger buttons, but not really necessary. Uh, but let's go to the actions. This is where you do most of the stuff here to set it up. So, uh, let's say for instance, we're, we're going to add something uh, easy. So, add a action. All right. And let's give this a name. We're just going to open the home folder. Okay. Basic stuff. So, we'll call this uh, home. Okay. And um, uh, for this one, we're going to use the commands. But it depends what, what it is that you want to do. You can do a key, you know, key binding also if you like. And put like a uh, combo here shift control F depends what you're using but uh, if you're using a mouse uh, binding you can do that button one and then you add a modifier not a big deal but for this instance we're going to use the commands because that's the only way to do this one here so I'm going to tell it to use Nautilus because that's the default uh, file manager and I'm going to tell it to open a home folder and our username that's our home folder alright so that's what we have and then you have to assign a uh, was it a stroke and to do that either you click uh, or highlight it and click here or you can uh, double click on here and uh, this window will pop up and now you can uh, record it so this draw something I'm gonna draw an E okay 
E like that. And you see there's an E, right? If I do the E now, it'll open the home folder like that, okay? Now, you see how the E is shaped it like? Uh, the blue is where you started, so you do the, the blue, and it, the green is where you ended. You have to do the exact same shape, okay? You can't go backwards like this. That doesn't work that way, okay? You have to do boop like that. So, hopefully you understand that. And uh, as far as, um, uh, there's a different ways to uh, record the stroke also. So this is the basic one that most people know. You know, you do that and you release the button. However, what does this X means? Right, so I'll show you a few different ways right now. So this one is another way. And you see there's an X. And then there's another way. You see there's one. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain this, but I'll show you in a minute. But let's let's bring this back to normal with the E, right? This one, uh, this S here and this S, it's the same. The only thing different is there's an X in it. The X means uh, you held down the trigger button and not let it go, okay? So that's the difference. This one, you let it go uh, really quick. This one, you held it down uh, to the very end. So if I do that one here and I held it, and you see there's an E there and with the X, right? So if I do that now without letting it go, it'll still do the same thing, but see, there's a different way to do that. Like I said, kind of hard to explain it, but uh, when you try it, uh, try doing it, uh, releasing it really quick with your trigger button, and the other one just hold it into the very end, and uh, it'll do the the um, the command that it was supposed to do. So that's uh, another way to do it. Not a lot of people know that, but you could. Okay. Uh, so let me give you that example right here. So I have these two. One of them opens the script folder, and the other one opens the storage folder. So let me do uh, the storage folder first. Storage folder, and now script folder. See, same thing. And what else is here down here? Uh, okay, so the ring switcher here. Um, this, like I said, most of this, uh, no keyboard at all. You don't do any keyboard, just your mouse and your gestures. So, uh, the ring switcher is part of Compiz, and this one you can bind it to a gesture and an additional button. So, if you see a number, that means it's an additional number. I mean, not, not a number, an uh, additional button. So, a number represents a button on, on your mouse, okay? Uh, so, to do this, uh, I'm going to draw the R, and then the 4 means to wheel up, and the 5 means to wheel down. So, if I do this, you see that? no keyboard involved and just the gestures I guess you can do this with the compass cube also but uh, I, I don't really use the cube uh, so that's how you do that basically all you gotta do is uh, draw the shape and then uh, flick the, the, the wheel button uh, really quick and uh, I'll do it okay so that's that